Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my 2020 homeschool curriculum. Since today is our last day before school starts, we're going to the pool. So let's have a little bit of fun, and then I'll let you guys know about the curriculum. To go to the pool, I pretty much always pack us food, and that's because, well, for one, I'm at my parents' house, and I don't feel like we should be raiding their fridge every time we go. Um, but also not having food can create some like really grumpy small people so and big people I get pretty hangry as well. So this is what I packed for lunch. I went ahead and put together a quick um, Chickpea salad and I put a little bit of mayo in here a little bit of mustard a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar as well as salt pepper um, cilantro tomatoes red onion Let's see what else tomatoes I think I said that um, and then I had two little pieces of some grilled barbecue chicken breast that I had left over I threw that in there as well and then for the kids I had some roasted sweet potatoes and some roasted broccoli and carrots left so that is going that's going to be our quick ready to have and go lunch I'll throw it in the fridge there homeschool we are actually going to be schooling Tuesday through Friday and we're gonna be taking Monday off last year I chose to take Fridays off instead but I always kind of felt like it was a wash because we would be doing really great building 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 Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday by Thursday we're like set in our routines we're doing great and then Friday we would just take off so the weekend kind of makes everything fall apart and by Monday you're starting over on a schedule so I have decided to take Mondays off instead of Fridays and in doing this I'm actually doing a little bit of meal prep on the side but Mondays is going to be my day to get structure back in the home and then Tuesday we hit it hard with school again so we will be schooling Tuesday through Friday. I only purchased three different materials for our 2020 school year which is me schooling Lila who is my first grader. So I purchased All About Reading Level 1. I did Singapore Math and then I also did a handwriting, the Handwriting Without Tears workbook. Also, this is my little caddy. Um, I actually purchased this at Aldi, but I think they have them, um, they have them at Ikea pretty much all the time anyway. So I keep this in a closet because I don't have a lot of space in my house. The top, I put all of their markers. Oh, speaking of markers, check this out. Found this hack on Pinterest. You actually duct tape the markers all together. That way when they wanna get one, the lids all stay together. So that's pretty amazing. Anyway, all their utensils are, uh, utensils, right? Yeah, utensils, writing utensils. Um, a little bit more of their writing utensils and then the bottom is all of our curriculum. Okay, so I purchased the All About Reading Level 1 kit. Um, I did not purchase all the extra packages. So the kit that I got, it came with the teacher's manual, the activity book for the kids, as well as three readers, phonics cards and word cards, and it came with some letter tiles. So that is all. I did not purchase the package that actually had the box for... Um, all of her word cards but I purchased this metal one on Amazon and I think it's the coolest ever I'll have it linked below if you're interested in this one it's really nice it was like $25 I think so it's kind of pricey but it's really neat so all about reading is essentially a phonics program and it is a multi-sensory program 
that is it's really just great for kids who are struggling with reading i don't really know much to talk about it except that i've heard other people talking about it so my idea here is to start emmy who is my pre-k um her birthday lands weird so she's actually starting kindergarten next year but i'm gonna go ahead and start her on this program as well i'm gonna just start her on lesson one and i'm gonna be starting my first grader on lesson 16 just based on where she's actually at and she did really good with her first lesson i felt like it was just enough to kind of challenge her slightly but she was also building confidence because she pretty much did know a lot of it so that is our all about reading program i'll probably do a review at the end of the year and let you guys know how satisfied with it I am. It is a very user friendly as a teacher because the lesson you just, it has a pre, um, like a before you begin where it'll tell you what the child's gonna be learning. And then the actual teaching part is very sim simple. It'll be, it literally tells you exactly what to do. Hold up the phonogram card M and say, this is the letter M, it makes the sound Mm. So you literally just read through it and you're teaching the lesson. So you don't have to have a teaching degree to be able to teach this and you'll do it very successfully. Successfully. Okay. Oh, and the readers are really great quality. They're like hardback and they're super cute. Um, I, I'm just like very impressed so far with this curriculum. Oh, also let me share with you guys. If you guys do not follow the five girl schoolhouse or something like that i'll look up her channel and i'll see if i can post it in the link below it's an instagram channel that i follow she's the one that actually gave me the idea so i took their activity book and i put it in a one and a half inch ring binder and i put each page in sleeve protectors and the purpose in doing this is so that all four of my children can use this program over and over because I'm cheap and I ain't trying to spend another $130 next year when I'm going to be having the twins or Emmy, whoever's going to be doing it again next year. So that is what I decided to do. And it's really cool doing it that way because I can actually have all the kids involved in the same exact um, curriculum that I only purchased one time. So there you go. That is all about reading. I hope you are interested in it and I hope I did not do a terrible job at talking about it. Okay, um, handwriting without tears. They got me on that slogan, handwriting without tears. We have done our first lesson. One thing I really love about handwriting without tears is the blocks that they give you because it really, it, like, Lila was having such a hard time with understanding like how far over her line should go or how tall they should be, even with having the double lines and having the box that they stay within. I think it's just for capital letters and for numbers, but it has helped her so much. Even just on the first lesson, her handwriting looks so much better. I, I think this program is going to be really great for handwriting. I did not choose to purchase spelling this year, but I probably will be having them do some copy work, mostly Lila. Um, once she gets a little bit further into her um, handwriting book that way um, she can just be seeing where to put periods and how to spell words because I personally feel like the more that they read and the more that they're writing they're gonna learn like just it's gonna be like memorization in that way not so much sitting down and writing out a word because I said spell this word so that's how we're gonna be approaching that and then the last thing that I got was math and this is just for Lila for Emmy I purchased just a few little books at like the dollar store and Walmart for math nothing crazy but we are trying um, Singapore math this year Singapore math is interesting the way they sell their packets um, so I chose to do the primary mathematics textbook this is like the the US edition there's three different editions and I don't really know the difference I just know the other vloggers that I follow bought this one so hey that's what I'm gonna do cuz you know 2020 just copy other people um here we go this is what was interesting to me your curriculum comes with pri um, mathematics 1a the textbook the workbook and the teacher's manual this is only for half the year so in order to have the full curriculum, you have to get 1A and 1B of the textbook, 1A, 1B of the workbook, and then I think the home, the teacher's guide is the same. But um, 
because we're just trying it out and I, I everything that I've been watching says it's a very like advanced program so I kind of just wanted to test it out so we're just gonna try it for the first half of the year and if it's going pretty good I'll order the other half and if it's not then we will not order it again and because horizons I had watched so many YouTube videos and read so much about them as well um, what a lot of people are doing because they say that Singapore math moves very quickly so what they'll do is when they when their child gets stuck somewhere um, what they'll do is they'll go over that lesson and then they'll come back to horizons um, this is just the math book one so you match it up with whatever level you're in in the Singapore math so this is math 1a this is horizons one so what you do is you just match them up and you'll do your lesson in the Singapore math one day and then the next two days you do worksheets from horizon to kind of just build on what you just were talking about and to kind of just like not bog them down with another new concept the very next day i guess that's what i'm thinking i don't know how it's gonna actually work out this is again what other people have said so all right that is our, oh, another thing that I purchased on Amazon that I thought was really cool were these little writing boards. And I think, I want to say that Handwriting Without Tears actually has a packet that has some of these. And I don't know if they're better quality, but these seemed pretty good to me. I will have these linked down below as well. Um, and it came in a pack of six. And the kids have been loving these. It's really cool because just like in the Handwriting Without Tears booklet that I was explaining to you how it has the square, this translates over to the same square. So when they're doing like their frog jump letters, they would go down, across, like they would fill up this square as if it was the square on the pager, page. So down, across, frog jump back to the top, whatever they're, however they're, whatever letter they're making, whatever. So, um, I hope this information did not overwhelm you guys and I hope you guys do not do like me and just copy what I bought just because I bought it because I feel like I put, invested quite a bit of money this year but I was not very happy with um, the stuff that I had done last year I wasn't super thrilled about it so I really wanted to just dig and try to find a curriculum that I really enjoy so that's why we're kind of all over the place this year and on top of all of that I actually have an amazing neighbor who is doing classes I think we're gonna do them once a month so that'll be where we kind of touch on like history current events um, Whatever's going on, like that's where we'll touch on that kind of stuff. And then we're going to learn the rest of the stuff about life by living. You know, that thing that, you know, we do to survive. Um, so, yeah, that is our going to be our 2020 homeschool year. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I don't know if I can answer them, but I will be happy to try. I have watched a ton of other experienced youtubers and in fact I might actually link a few of my favorite um, YouTube homeschool moms as well I'll link them below there's gonna be so much link below so read it all if this is something that interests you and if you guys are struggling at all just reach out to other moms who are at home homeschooling because guess what I guarantee you we are all going through a lot of the same things so support each other support through community and we will get through this very interesting 2020 school year. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. Bye.